Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I know we are generally upset about Samsung stopping its production of the Galaxy Note 7. It was by far the most exciting smartphone to launch this year. And so far as we could tell, it looked like it was gonna carry the torch until 2017. It was the right thing to do though. The Galaxy Note 7 took some innovative features to the grave, many that will leave a gap in the industry. Here are the top 5 Samsung Galaxy Note 7 exclusive features that we're gonna miss. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So number 1 is the iris scanner. The Galaxy Note 7 wasn't the first phone to feature an iris scanner. The Lumia 950 took the trophy for the consumer market, but it was the first mass-produced Android smartphone with the feature. It made logging into the smartphone a breeze. Just look at the iris scanner and boom, you're inside. There was something fun and futuristic about it, even if the fingerprint reader worked just as well most of the time, or even better. And number 2 is the S Pen. Samsung beefed up the S Pen this year with more than 4000 supported pressure levels. It was the best S Pen by far, and I often used it to take notes during meetings cause it felt so much like a regular pen. The software has improved too and allowed us to write notes on the screen off and then save them to the always on display. Also, while the Galaxy Note 7 obviously had other issues, the S Pen didn't get jammed inside the smartphone like it did last year. Better yet, it was part of the whole waterproof package. And number 3 is the secure folder. I hope this feature makes it to the Galaxy S8. Samsung had a secure folder on the Galaxy Note 7 that allowed you to keep private data locked away behind an iris scanner or fingerprint. It encrypted everything in the folder and locked it down with Samsung Knox technology which offers enterprise grade production. And the next exclusive feature is the HDR movies. Samsung offered support for streaming HDR movies to the Galaxy Note 7. It's the first smartphone to offer that feature. And services like Amazon Prime Video were just starting to make content available to the device. It meant cleaner video with deeper blacks and wider whites for a visually pleasing movie watching experience. I didn't use it all that often, but it was just one of those ways where Samsung pushed the boundaries in seemingly every way possible. And finally, the display. Perhaps after all the biggest loss to the market is that big beautiful Quad HD display. With curved edges on both sides, the screen of the Galaxy Note 7 felt as if it was overflowing into our palms. With bezels only on the top and bottom, this made movie watching immersive, gaming exciting and even news reading exhilarating. The display really felt like it was consuming our eyeballs. Making interaction with the Galaxy Note 7 was all that much more fun. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video guys. I know we missed the Galaxy Note 7. There is still a void for the Galaxy Note 7 to fill. And I know we are waiting for the next big smartphone. So far, nothing I see on the radar seems nearly as enticing. Samsung went big and bold with the Galaxy Note 7, perhaps a bit too much. I can't really wait for the Galaxy S8 to be launched this February. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Feel free to leave a comment down below and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out. Of course, it offers flagship specs and a premium design putting it in the same category of the iPhone 7 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. The question is, how do the three devices actually compare? Here is the Pixel XL against the iPhone 7 Plus and the Galaxy Note 7.